is um, all about gerbils, treats, toys and chews. Toys and chews are an essential to include in your gerbils cage or tank. Treats are also important when taming a gerbil or just to give them every now and then. First of all, any toys you choose for gerbils must be safe. Gerbils have a tendency to explore their toys so make sure they won't get their head stuck. As well as that, make sure the toys won't easily splinter and become dangerous. Gerbils mustn't have plastic toys. This is because gerbils will most probably chew it, causing them to ingest it, then causing blockages or other illnesses. My gerbils don't have one, but wheels are great toys and like an exercise thing for gerbils. Solid wheels like the Silent Spinner, Woden Wheel and other brands are all good. However, being plastic, you will need to keep an eye on them, but it shouldn't be too much trouble. If your gerbils do chew plastic wheels a lot, then you could buy one of those wire mesh wheels that look like this. Not this. Even though lots of places say these are bad, gerbils are not prone to a bumble foot like hamsters. However, you must still duct tape it, like Gerbil232 has. Please check the description to find her video on how to do that to make the wire mesh wheels just that a little bit more safer for your gerbils feet. Hides must also be provided for gerbils to hide in. Um, I don't have any out like proper hides in front of the camera because they're all in the gerbils cage but untreated wooden houses make good choices although cardboard make nice homes but they'll probably be they will probably be, probably be shredded quickly <laughs> sorry about that other things you could use are ceramic or coconut shell hides you can find ceramic pots candle burners and pretty much anything else anywhere and if you can't find a coconut shell in the shop you can make it yourself but just make sure you research how to properly prepare a coconut for your gerbils now on to chew toys. Having things for your gerbils to chew on is super important. Gerbils teeth grow constantly and if they don't have things to chew on then their teeth will overgrow and become uncomfortable for them and may cause health Some problems. Some good chew toys for gerbils include a plain cardboard tube, a full toilet paper roll, a chew tube, wooden blocks, bendy bridges, brown paper bags and there are literally hundreds of more chew toys you could use. You could even pick up some logs from the woods, make sure it is safe, untreated, not rotting and that you sanitise it. Some types of safe wood include apple, pear, grapevine, mulberry, magnolia, aspen, sycamore, medlar, bam bamboo, hazelnut and some types of willow including, including goat willow and weeping willow. Some that are unsafe are apricot, cashew, clematis, cherry, elderberry bushes, chestnut, fir, walnut, juniper, rosewood, maple, almond, mahogany, plum, hydrogenja, hemlock, rhododendron, yew, poison ivy, all redwoods, pine, cedar, all citrus wood like orange, grapefruit, lemon, etc. Lemon, not a lemma. Um, chipboard, plywood, fibreboard, aka MDF, and hardboard. The last unsafe wood I'm going to mention is buckwheat wood. Buckwheat grains are eaten by gerbils, but buckwheat greens, all their juices, if eaten in enough quantities, can cause sensitisation of the skin to sunlight, known as phagopyrism. Fair-skinned people are particularly susceptible, susceptible, as are light-pigmented livestock. Be cautious if you are using it, but you should go with a more safer wood, such as apple and willow, that you can find in any shop. I know that's kind of linked to a health video, but I thought I'd add it in here instead. One of the easiest things you can give your gerbil to play with is bedding. Give your gerbils a bunch of bedding and they will happily spend an hour or so moving it all about and putting it in places they want to. Finally, treats. Treats can be used to tame your gerbil, to give them when they've been good or whenever, as long as you don't overfeed them. They can have shop-bought treats from the small animal section, bird section, dog section or cat section and they can have fresh fruit and, fruit and veg. If you do feed fruit, make sure you give it in moderation as it is quite sugary and tends to be quite watery as well, which could cause diarrhoea in a gerbil, which is quite serious. And would need vet treatment um, normally, so yeah, just be careful if you're feeding fruit. Some examples of fruit you can give them are apple, grapes, berries, watermelon, pear and a few others. And some vegetables that gerbils can have is broccoli, carrot, cucumber, cauliflower, parsley, fennel and pumpkin. All of these make nice occasional treats for your gerbils. Please bear in mind that 
um, some gerbils may not like fruit and veg, it's just their personality and their preferences. My Both my gerbils don't like fruit and veg, I've tried pretty much everything out with them that they can have and they just don't like it. They prefer seeds like pumpkin seeds which I have here and um, some pasta which I've got here. They just tend to prefer these things but yeah, as I said, it just depends on your gerbil. Please feel free to comment any questions you may have about any toys, treats, chews or any other or unsafe wood or fruit and vegetables. Um, yeah, sorry this video has been quite long but I hope all the information I added was helpful. This will be the last um, episode in the Gerbil Care series. I hope if you've watched all of them that you enjoyed all of them. I might be doing a guinea pig one but if I do that won't be for a while because I want to add some more different videos to my channel and not just have the same videos every week such as the gerbil care series because I did three videos, a couple different videos and another three videos so I might do that for a while but if you want me to do it in the future, maybe sometime in January or February then please feel free to comment and I will do that for you but as I said it won't be for a while yet as I do have a lot of other videos planned I wrote down some people have requested and obviously as Christmas is coming up and the gerbils birthdays I want to film what they get for Christmas and their birthdays so yeah I just have a lot of other videos planned so if I do do a guinea pig care series it will be next year early next year but it will be it won't be um, any time like now or this month so yeah Thank you if you've watched um, the whole of the Gerbil Care series. If you haven't, then I hope you enjoyed whatever video you did watch. And yeah. Also, I do have a, a kind of video planned for when I hit 100 subscribers. But I'm not sure when that will be up. It will um, hopefully be up sometime, maybe a week after I hit 100. But I'm not sure. So yeah, you'll just have to wait around for that one because I don't know when that will be. Because as I said, I do have a lot of videos planned and written down that I need to need to um, film and upload. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and ask any questions you want. And also comment if you enjoyed the video you watched, like the video in the series you watched, or if you enjoyed the whole series. If you did, stick around and watch the whole series. Thank you for um, watching. Bye.